Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a chronic disabling disease that attacks the central nervous system. Many people with MS endure great pain and struggle to achieve quality of life. Maureen Cayley has the disease, yet refuses to be defined by it. She's a remarkable artist, and her house is an evolving showcase of her work. People I know say it's, it's like walking into a fairyland or walking into another world because it's full of the doll houses and my artwork and the, and the dolls and, and the, the walls are covered with work, the rooms are full of work and so many people come back two, three times before they even notice everything that there is to be seen here because every room is a treasure trove in the house. Them all, yes. Oh, look at this one poking the little tongue in there. Do you see the little toy? Any artist loves to show their work, but particularly myself, because I'm so housebound, to be able to have people come into my home is a way of, of, of me showing the world what I do and um, to see children's eyes when they light up, when they see the dollhouses, it just gives me life and energy. Each day I wake up and I, I see what my body will allow me to do that day. And depending on how my body functions, I then will either paint using acrylics or sometimes um, crayon work, um, or I will use watercolours. The next thing uh, I work on is, is the dolls, the porcelain dolls. They're a lot of work, so they're hard work. The other thing I do is, is the miniature doll houses and the, and the work in, in miniature. This is my Edwardian doll house. When I open it up, you'll be able to see inside the sort of detail that I've gone to. We've even got a little wedding album over there in the corner with the little wedding photos. So I'd love to crawl up inside and live in this doll house. This is my latest dollhouse. I finished it about 12 months ago. It's a museum dollhouse in the Victorian era. The different rooms are different themes. Yes, this one took two years to make from the original design work through the making to now, but I never really finish my doll houses. My doll's houses are a work in progress forever. Even down to the minutest detail, I take delight in that detail. And I think that's something disability has taught me, to take delight in the small things and to take quiet time working on those small things. So I don't think having MS has stopped me overall from achieving artwork. It might stop for one day or two days or three days, but not overall. It's unknown as to what my body's going to do in the future. I have secondary progressive MS, so it will degenerate. If my body gives out, my mind will take over. So I never fear what's ahead, really, and honestly, I can say to you, I don't fear the future. I just see it as a challenge.